Yo, what's up Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. It's no name. I'm back again with another Giants video. The first half reaction of Giants at Patriots Thursday Night Football. And the reason I'm talking so fast guys is because what a game. Man, what a game, what a game, what a game. So exciting. Definitely did not expect this. I don't think anybody expected this. 21-14 at the half. And the game is closer than it looks. And it feels weird saying that. You know, 21 to 14, you know, obviously just a one score deficit. Uh, and the Giants are actually in this game playing really well. Big thanks to our defense. Like, first of all, first and foremost, before I address anything else, our defense is out there playing their butts off. They're absolutely playing like at a level that I haven't seen thus far in the season yet. James Betcher. You know what, man? Shout out to you because I don't know if you watch my videos. I absolutely doubt it. But I'm not the only Giants fans that's been saying for about three, four weeks now, your uh, play calling has been terrible. Uh, you're not making any adjustments at half. The schemes that you're running uh, almost every other play is either a full on blitz or some type of weird zone coverage that allows receivers to run out in the open, get passes, and allows teams to score very easily on us. But this game, you've done an amazing job, all right? Uh, Janoris Jenkins playing really well. First turn turnover of the game, uh, got an interception on Tom Brady. We unfortunately didn't get to do anything with it, but um, I'll get into that later. Marcus Golden has a sack, and of course that amazing fumble recovery for a touchdown where he ran 41 yards with the ball through the New England defense and absolutely stretched his short frame out, short for a defensive end that is, outside linebacker, to get the touchdown. Uh, Lorenzo Carter came off, he was the one that stripped the ball out of Brady's hands. I believe that counts as a sack strip fumble. If it doesn't, it just counts as a strip fumble. The defense in general has been playing really good, man. They've been doing really well against the pass and for the most part, been playing a good game against the run. Now then, of course, they have been letting up uh, a bit more plays as the game went on, as the Patriots offense are getting into their rhythm, as Brady is, you know, getting his bad plays out of the way. The defense has been, you know, letting letting this Patriots offense sort of run their course a little bit. And I, I do believe that James Betcher, because of the great game he's had so far, will adjust and help our defense continue to play as well as they have tonight. Because they show it before the game began, the Giants defense is ranked 38 overall in the NFL. That's of course out of the 32 teams, we're absolutely at the bottom of the barrel. And now our offense, um, I'm not happy with the offense. Yeah, we are. We got one touchdown, but we also have two interceptions. And one of those interceptions is not Daniel Jones' fault. The second one, I, I, I have to put on him a little bit. Yes, he got his hand hit while he was throwing, but he was in that pocket for a good four or five seconds I don't know why he didn't scramble out and you know maybe run for a little bit of yards but uh, I don't blame him I don't want him to take any you know anything too risky you know risk an injury and whatnot he is very young and once again something like that he'll do when he gets older you know in the future coming years he is a rookie rookie mistake let him take his lumps let him learn this is how NFL quarterbacks learn to be good they first make all their mistakes get it out the way and that's what the rookie year is for but other than that, uh, the Giants defense, and I'm saying this as Rob Gronkowski comes out in New York, wow. For those of you that don't know, I go to college in Manhattan, and they're doing the Fox Halftime Show not that far away from my college. You got Michael Strahan there, who's obviously a giant great. Terry Bradshaw, a Hall of Fame quarterback. And now Rob Gronkowski. I could have met these guys tonight. But that's besides the point. Getting back on track. So yeah, getting back on track, Um, the offense for the most part, Hasn't looked too good, and I really have to put a good amount of the blame, you know, have to heap it on Pat Shermer. And I said this in my Patriots preview, and I've said it uh, in my Vikings recap. I've said it for a good couple of weeks now. Pat Shermer, you haven't had a good game yet from the offensive side of the ball. You've had a good half in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers' second half. But really, since that Chicago game last year, you know, on December 2nd, I think it was, or was it actually December 1st? Whatever it was, since that Packers game, um, that Bears game last year, you haven't had a good offensive uh, play calling game. This this right here is no different. I don't know why, you know, at the beginning of the first half, he was running the ball so much with our third string running back and our fullback. 
yeah, John Hillman seems to have a little bit of a rhythm going, but in the beginning, we could have really scored had it not been for the amount of times we ran the ball, whether it was with a dumb RPO that actually got us back to the line of scrimmage instead of going anywhere, or a run that made us loss a few yards. Or, you know, what it does is it takes up time, and then it took up two of our downs, and next thing you know, DJ was in, like, about two or three third and long positions where he was forced to force the ball into zones, which is really hard to, you know, make a good play, and obviously we didn't make them. Uh, so Pat Shermer, I really don't know what to say except you got to adjust a lot at the half. At this point, I can kind of see the game might shift from a really good defensive game in the first half to what might be a shootout in the second half. I really hope James Betcher is able to make his adjustments and continue to call a great game as he's done so far to try and restrain that Patriots defense. And I hope that Pat Shermer can come up with something, you know, not stale, can come up with a good mixture of plays to call to catch the Patriots defense off guard. Maybe not run the ball so much. Yeah, John Hillman has a bit of a rhythm now, but run a bit more um, play actions, may have run a bit more draws. You know, run a bit more drag routes. You know, move the ball horizontally. Don't always force it downfield. Run some drags, run some out routes. A little bit of slants, which you already have mixed in there. But for the most part, don't rely on the run too heavily because of the guys we have back there. If we had Saquon back there, it's a different story. If we had Wayne Gallman back there, it's a different story. But know your personnel. All in all, guys, I'm really proud of how this team is performing, especially the defense. Even if we lose, I can come out of the game happy because, honestly, we're outperforming ourselves. So I'll be back at it in the second half. Your Yo, before I start off on Pat Shermer real quick, because I already said I'm proud of this defense. They got us another stop, all that turnover on fourth down. How do you, on third and nine, call a screen pass behind the line of screen? Behind the line of scrimmage. How do you do that against the best defense in the NFL, Pat Shermer? Are you serious? I literally, when we got the ball back, I was like, please, 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 Shermer, call some good plays. And you call three terrible, three retarded plays. I cannot believe this. I can't believe this. We really had a chance. We really had a chance. And I'm really proud of this team, but we really lost this because of Shermer, man. Alright, y'all. This game is basically all but over. Uh, Patriots just scored another touchdown to make it 34 to 14 extra point pending um yeah man I guess the 17 point underdog was indeed correct because Giants are being beat by 21 <laughs> but the score definitely is not indicative of how, how the game went despite all my criticisms of Pat Sherman, I do feel like he failed us this game. We were very much in this game up until I want to say the eight minute mark in the fourth quarter. We were very much in this game. Uh, Shermer really, there's a lot to criticize him for, but man, I gotta give props to this Giants defense and this Giants team as a whole. We came in here uh, missing one of our starting linebackers. We're down to our third string on one side uh, with a secondary that is ranked 28th in the league, I believe. Missing our number one receiving option in Evan Ingram and our number one receiver himself in Sterling Shepard, along with our starting running back and our backup running back in Saquon Barkley and Wayne Gallman. It's crazy how many injuries we have on this team, and yet we were still, for the most part, able to be in the game against a team that is arguably the best in the NFL in favor to win their, uh, what is this gonna be five Super Bowls in six years or something like that whatever the case is listen I can't expect much more from this Giants team I'm really ha I'm really happy what I saw from the defensive side especially man three sacks on the day an interception on the day a fumble recovery for a touchdown on the day James Betcher shout out to you you definitely listen to all the criticisms that every Giants fan have given you man you made great adjustments um you had this defense playing out there like they were number one in the league instead of what they actually are, which is number 30 out of 32 teams in the league. You had us looking good. You you were the reason we were in this game for as long as we were. And, you know, same thing goes to uh, Marcus Golden, Lorenzo Carter, who was having a nice comeback game, by the way. Alec Ogletree, Janoris Jenkins. Even though he had that one really bad penalty, that holding, that defensive holding call, that was, oh, man, that was really bad. But, um, yeah, man, there's not much for me to say other than that. On the offensive side, Daniel Jones, he didn't look good, but 
I'm gonna give him a mulligan. Like I, I can give him a pass because he's a rookie. I mean, this is what rookies do. We we definitely got a bit excited when the kid came in and won us two straight games. But even I was saying, hey, 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 chill. He's a rookie. There's gonna be games where the dude, you know, makes what is known as rookie mistakes, and they're known as that for a reason. Where he makes some bad reads and bad throws, ends up as interceptions, all that. And that that happened this game. I expect it to happen more as the season goes on, cause. That's how you learn as a quarterback, you know. That's how you get better. So he, yeah, he had a bad game, but he showed a lot of bright flashes, and that's what you really look for in a rookie quarterback, man. Don't forget, one of the worst rookie seasons ever happened to probably the greatest quarterback ever in Peyton Manning, where he led the league in interceptions his rookie year. So I'm not worried about Daniel Jones. It's all part of the learning process. Still worried a little bit about Pat Shermer. I did not like his play calling at all. Y'all know my opinion on him. I still believe that he hasn't had a whole game yet this entire season and we're already six games into the season where he's had a good offensive game you know so i want i gotta see more from him man i gotta see something from him it's crazy but that's what i got for y'all tonight man let me know what you guys think do you appreciate the effort the defense gave us do you agree with my sentiment on pat Shermer? and uh how do you think this giant team is gonna do going forward i think we got a good chance next week against the cardinals a team that is bottom of the league <laughs> similar to us but we're nowhere near the cardinals in terms of how bad we are we're definitely above them and then after that we got another winnable game in detroit who knows what will happen let me know what you guys think like share subscribe i'm out you're all right guys thanks for watching put your comments down below make sure you smash that like button subscribe and turn on post notifications until next time i'm out you're...